millions of mines and unexploded grenades are scattered across Afghanistan. Decades of war have led the country to deal with military explosives by itself, even though Afghanistan has a team dedicated to clearing the remnants of conflict. The lack of resources and people moving back home to areas earlier turned inaccessible by the war are adding to their long list of challenges in our report. Deadly remnants of war remain hidden under the Afghan soil. Large parts of the country are littered with unexploded mines dating back to the Soviet invasion four decades ago. Then the brutal civil war and fighting during U.S. intervention after the September 11 terror attacks. So more explosives lined across the country, adding to the lethal mix. People are afraid. There are a lot of mines and several type of explosives. There are old mines and there are also the current explosives the Taliban have placed. There is other ordnance left during the fighting between the Taliban and the government scattered all around. A lot of people have been injured and there is still a lot of danger if it's not cleared. Over the years, the battle-scarred valleys in the south of Kabul bore witness to intense fighting between troops of the West and the Taliban. There are highways littered with bomb craters and roadside mosques surrounded with shrapnel damage. When the Taliban retook Kabul in August 2021, people started returning to their abandoned homes, schools and even farmlands. And that exposed a new wave of Afghans to unexploded landmines, grenades, mortars and improvised bombs. The victims have been the young, the elderly, men, women, and even kids. We were playing cricket. The ball was hit. The ball went over there, and a bullet was over there. After I was throwing it, it exploded. Children make up for one-third of the casualties caused by the landmines. There is a lack of education about the dangers of the explosives, and more than that, a desperation to earn a living and bring in some money home for their poverty-stricken families. So these uh, children are collecting the ammunition, bringing to one place and then trying to sell them to the local tradesmen that they are coming with quad bikes and selling, buying these things, taking to the melting factories in Kabul or sometimes taking outside of Afghanistan. So there's like a whole kind of cycle of, 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 of uh, former ammunition bases, and then the children, we call them scrappies or scrap metal collectors, and then collecting these, and accidents are unfortunately happening. After a day of scavenging, 12-year-old Amjad thought he'd made a valuable discovery, but the find was devastating. The United Nations says more than 13 million items of explosive remnants have been cleared in the past 30 years. The bombs and grenades are suspected to be scattered throughout a quarter of the country, which was previously off limits due to fighting. And now, with people returning home, clearance teams struggle to keep up with the pace. The International Committee of the Red Cross says that at least 1,500 people have been killed or even wounded until August this year. Places we used to call it hard to reach areas, now all these areas are accessible. As we were expecting, the number of civilian casualties will rise and it has risen quite dramatically, um, especially among you know, uh, uh, civilians uh, and children. With the Taliban takeover, the fighting may have ceased, but there is no respite for war-weary Afghanistan. South Asia Bureau, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.